Welcome back everybody, welcome if you are new today we're in the NASCAR Next Gen Cup Series here at the New Hampshire We're back here once again, hopefully for the last time in a while Because I am not a big fan of this track But we got car number 14 out of 27 here, so like right in the middle This track is really tough to me, I just don't like the flat track So hopefully we can just not wreck And that's to be the main goal for the day, it's 55 laps So if we get a long green flag run, we can go by pretty quick but it's going to be a rough one if uh, we go green the whole way. For some reason, I know you can downshift here and everything, but I'm better just sticking in fifth gear the whole lap. Like, I, I ran like a six as my fastest time. Can't be consistent at that at all. Like, I'll be consistent around like 30.9 to 31 flat. Hopefully our qualifying, we can get an okay time. But I know there's a lot of really fast guys in here. I think the uh, number one car had like a 30.3 in my last session. But I don't know what it is just about this place. I just cannot ever figure out. I need banking. I need banking to have any sort of fun. Didn't have a great race in the truck race earlier this week. We finished 10th, which was all right. 30.8. 28, I'll take that. Better than what I was expecting to get to be honest i was hoping to get like a seven or a six at like at best case scenario and then we're wrecking here on the second lap saved it at least <laughs> saved it from hitting the wall which was nice we only get a one x for qualifying but i'll finish out this lap so people aren't waiting on me what are they running 30.4 30.7 30 30.8 i imagine like the really fast guys haven't ran a lap yet yeah it's all our slower numbers the, the six car got pole and he was the only one that was a higher number so, I imagine the uh, car one's gonna probably run a three or maybe even a two, which is just gonna be crazy. I'm happy with running an eight. I just don't wanna wreck like I did basically there in the second lap. I just pushed it a little hard off of turn two, trying to see if we can get any sort of time out of it. But with an 893, we'll be pretty far towards the back. I'm just gonna try to ride around, not end up in any wrecks and try not to wreck ourselves. So I'll bring you guys back for the green flag. We fell back to 18th, fell back pretty far, actually. Like, I thought the one car ran a 3. He actually ran, like, a 4.54 on his first lap, and then got faster on the second one, which is crazy. Don't know how you do that. But I, I'm figuring there is shifting, because I think you could probably stay in fourth all the way around, or you could go down to third, potentially. But you can definitely run fourth all the way around, like, without a problem. You might be maxing out at the end of the straightaway, but... You'll get a good launch off each corner, but I get two sideways doing that because I've tried going fifth gear down the straightaways Downshift in the fourth then getting back in the fifth on the straightaways It's just slower to me like for me the way I drive so being in fifth is a better situation for me It's just odd. I don't understand it, but Like the trucks were a lot easier to drive to me than these cars are you can actually get like a good cut down lane in one and two but if you do that in these cup cars, they're just so low and they, they just don't have the same balance and you just get real sideways running on the lower side at this track. So I imagine we'll see some cautions and I'm pretty sure we have two sets of tires. Yeah, we have two sets of tires. We're good on fuel the whole way. Hopefully we can just stay out of the wrecks because the new damage model can destroy your car so quickly. Even just uh, when you if you get loose off one of these corners and you overcorrect it and put it like right front into the wall Your front right is destroyed Like happened to us a couple weeks ago at Atlanta or was that last week? That might have been last week. Yeah, that was last week where we ended up in a wreck and We barely we did we didn't really hit the wall that hard, but our front right was destroyed Okay, it looks like in front of the 17 didn't join up unless he's going to literally the last second no, he didn't. Okay, he's starting from the pits. But we're just going to do the best we can. Try to not wreck ourselves or anybody else. These cars really don't want to slow down going into these corners. So you have to be careful with that. Especially when we're going to be right on top of everybody else. Have a little bit earlier of a let off and breaking point. Going into the first few corners. Waiting on the guy in front of us to move. Hello? Okay, there we go. Everybody was going and then like... I think the guy in front of him didn't go nope it was just him okay so the 24 car just wasn't paying attention and it's a one to green so he needs to catch up 
hopefully it's a pretty clean start and there's not really any wrecks because caution laps are going to be terrible we had like half the race in my truck my truck race uh a few days ago go like half the race under caution which i'm not shocked by there's like six cautions in 40 laps and this is a 55 lap race and these cars are a lot harder to drive in my opinion Give me a quick radio check, please. so we'll see what happens Hopefully it goes smooth. Maybe starting in the pits was a good idea for some people. I don't know. This track does have the restart zones, I think. I think that they might. Hope the guy behind me just jumps low. Yeah, so I don't have somebody right on my rear end. Just take it easy. Don't push it out to the wall too hard. Because it will get loose. Gonna get up in the fifth gear and just ride at this point. Just try to run our line. 23 is already sideways. Don't overcorrect it. He overcorrected it back there. That's gonna be caution number one. <laughs> oh god. I'm happy he didn't overcorrect it a little earlier. Because we would have been right into the side of us, which would have sucked. But we what? We gained one. We, actually, we. Where did we go? We started 18. So we gained a position basically out of that start. Because one guy on the inside lane didn't start and then we got passed by the 19 and then that guy spun himself out going okay. in the three so okay. we're gonna have a couple caution laps here i'll bring you guys back for the green flag outside lane that's confusing i guess somebody might have pitted on that two to green i'm not sure 100 percent i don't think the 19 is paying attention i'm waiting for him to go inside yeah there you go he figured it out we're up to 16, so yeah, I guess somebody pitted. That's confusing. Wasn't expecting to see that. Thought we were going to be starting inside lane, but that's fine. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to get in the fifth gear on the back stretch and ride. <laughs> that's all I want to do. There's some really good guys up front. Probably won't get many cautions at that point, but the guys towards the back, there might be some. Just like what happened with the 23 there going into turn three. Not sure if he just overcorrected nose into the wall or collected somebody else back there not 100 percent sure and we'll go back and see all the incidents after the race getting ready to take the green once again the outside lane like wasn't very close to the guys up here so they're like slowly sneaking up there when we're taking the green so we have a decent gap behind us which is nice no, I'm gonna get in fifth right now, so I don't have to worry about getting too sideways. And there's already a caution. What was the caution for? That's gonna be fun. Yeah, there. This is this is gonna be eye pacing this well, race. Thanks for that one. This race will be eye pacing for sure. Well, the 23 already had damage, so maybe something happened where he was slow on the start. I don't know. Somebody ran him over. Not sure. Another caution down. <laughs> We've gotten. We haven't even gotten a full lap in, so this is gonna be a long race. All right, back in 16th once again for this start. I would rather go to the Indy Road Course, which we are next week, than run this. I don't know. I've had a lot of fun on the road courses the past month or so, everywhere it's been running. It's been a lot of fun, like getting to learn those tracks and actually running pretty decent. So hopefully we can do well next week. I don't have any hope for this week. But in a couple weeks, I think I'm going to start doing some league racing uh, in these NASCARs, like the Next Gen Cup Series. So that should be fun. I saw on Facebook, one of the iRacing communities, somebody was posting like they're doing recruiting race or whatever. So I joined them on Friday and did like a race at Michigan. It was a lot of fun. There was a few wrecks in the beginning, but then it got pretty good towards the end. It was only like a 40 lap race, but each race would be like 200 miles or less. 16 uh race season with like five races for the playoffs or something like that it's a weird weird kind of schedule but should be fun something to look forward to in a couple weeks at least just take it easy here don't know how damaged some of the guys are behind us oh god what the hell and our car screwed awesome jesus christ okay yep i can't even turn right our car is destroyed that's great i hate this track so much i really do oh jeez oh jeez like that are we gonna make it a lap no no people are not i don't even know what happened there dude
Like, I think the 19 got sideways, the 15 got sideways, just overcorrected straight into us. Absolutely destroyed our front end. I think both our tires were screwed at that point. Like, our whole front end, I literally would not turn. I think that the right side, the right front was absolutely destroyed, I'm assuming. If I can get it there. Yeah, I literally couldn't even turn right. Like, the whole front end was screwed. Pretty sure. So that's unfortunate. That ends our day pretty quick, so it is what it is. I want to go back to see the first couple wrecks because that was just a ridiculous race altogether. I know the 23 was the cause of the first caution in turn three. And then both the other ones happened turn one or before. Holy crap, four car sending it on the apron. Like, you could use the apron and, like, kind of slide up a little bit, and it won't really be too bad. But if you try to cut down off a of turn two, like, what just happened to us, people will get sideways. 23 just got sideways there. Overcorrected it super late. Somehow didn't take out anybody else. That was kind of lucky. And then what was the next caution? This was under the pace last, and then this was literally off the start. They're going three wide for some reason. Like, the five car just started really far back, it looks like. Yeah, he was way the hell over here. Starting super far back. Trying to get a run on these guys. Don't know why you're that far back. And then just shoves it in to the back of the... Let's get a different view. Just shoves it. Trying to go three wide for some reason. We're literally on lap four. We already had a caution. This guy's pushing them. So, couldn't help that either. And then everybody back here goes wrecking. So they're literally wrecking for last place. And then what just happened to us was just unfortunate and absolutely destroyed our car because 19 gets sideways, 15's literally following him and he just overcorrects it. So that destroys our day. You saw the front right absolutely get diagonal there when you bounced off the wall. Right about there, you'll see the front right tire. Oh yeah, you can see the front left destroyed too, but that's pointed the wrong way. And I just couldn't even turn after that, so that's gonna end our day. How much damage do we have? Yeah, 16 required. Yeah, we're done. So we're gonna be finishing pretty much dead last. That's okay. Uh, hopefully next week will be better for us when we go to the Indy Road Course. I had a lot of fun on the road courses, but nice little short video for the NASCAR this week. And uh, I just don't enjoy this track, so I'm happy it's over early at least. But I appreciate you guys for watching anyways. Hopefully you guys had a better week than I did, and I'll catch you guys in the next race.